The metaverse as a concept isn't actually anything new. Second Life from 2003, Fortnite, Roblox, Pokemon Go. In fact, the term metaverse was originally coined in Neil Stevenson's 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash, where humans would essentially interact with one another in three-dimensional virtual spaces that utilize the metaphor of the real world. However, before the blockchain hit mainstream audiences, there were not many successful attempts at making the metaverse as fun and as exciting, even with Meta, formerly Facebook, initially pushing their Oculus Rift headsets. It is only now, after we have seen exponential growth in the utility and value surrounding cryptocurrencies, that the metaverse is truly starting to shine. Today, we're gonna to be going over the top 10 metaverse platforms that you need to know about, so that the next time you wanna enter another world, you'll be able to make an educated and well-researched decision. Hey guys, it's Mark Thompson from CryptoMaid, and today we're gonna to be talking about the top metaverse projects that have already launched and a few that are upcoming, looking to evolve the metaverse landscape. But before we go too far in this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you always get alerted whenever I post upcoming videos. Keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. This content is used for educational and informational purposes only. It's important to talk to a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Now, as of June, 2022, there are new numerous exceptional projects within the blockchain space that have truly managed to make a name for themselves. The Sandbox being one of them. The Sandbox is one of the largest metaverse projects in terms of market cap and has gained the attention of a lot of enthusiasts within the space. Within its virtual world, players are given the opportunity to build, own, and even monetize out of actual gaming experiences, all of which occur on the Ethereum blockchain. The Sandbox platform has three main integrated products that when used together, provide a comprehensive experience for user-generated content. Vox Edit lets you create voxel models, then rig them and finally automate them. Then there's the Sandbox Marketplace, which is an open market environment that allows for the trading of in-game tokenized assets. Then there's the Game Maker that lets users build, share, and monetize through games with the online 3D gaming platform. The world gives creators true ownership over their creations in the form of non-fungible tokens or NFTs. This is a pattern we'll see across all projects, where the main goal is to make the time the users put into these virtual worlds both fun and worthwhile. The native cryptocurrency token used for just about everything within this world is known as the SAND token. Okay, so second on our list is Decentraland. Decentraland is a virtual world owned by the users who have the opportunity to build, explore, play games, socialize, and even earn money from their creators. The world is built around the native cryptocurrency token known as MANA, which is used for trading goods and services that are provided by users. Each user can navigate the vast geography of Decentraland through the usage of the Atlas tool and find a solid location on top of which they can develop. This is yet another project that's built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So MANA is a ERC-20 based token that can be freely traded on many exchanges. MANA is mainly spent in exchange for land parcels. However, it can also be used to make in-world purchases of NFTs or services as well. Now let's talk about the Theta Network. This is the first and foremost decentralized video streaming platform, as well as a platform that can distribute rewards between content creators, viewers, and everyone that promotes it. However, over time, it has established itself as a key infrastructure that can power metaverses. This is due to the fact that it has a peer-to-peer -peer video and data delivery system, which can benefit those who create and interact with the metaverses. From the perspective of the Theta Network, metaverses are the future of media and entertainment, which are a key frontier in the expansion of its ecosystem. Throughout the years, the team behind Theta has developed technologies that can render VR worlds in real time, the Theta Video API, decentralized video distribution, and video-based NFTs, all of which are a perfect fit for the metaverse. Note that unlike the previous two metaverses, Theta uses a two token system. Theta is the staking token that ensures the security of the network and enables decentralized governance. T-Fuel is the second token used for the payment of transaction fees as a reward for stakers and for powering smart contracts. It's also a deflationary token, which means that the gas fees are paid in it and then it gets burned. Now let's talk about Ingen. Ingen is an Ethereum-based platform that was developed to enable the creation of blockchain-based games and their economies. It was originally announced in 2017 and allows game developers to put any of their in-game assets on the blockchain. This is a vast ecosystem that features numerous products. There's the Engine SDK, which features tools 
toolkits for Unity, Godot, and Java that let developers integrate blockchains into their games. Then there's the Engine Marketplace that allows anyone to buy and sell their in-game items in the form of an NFT. ENJ is the native cryptocurrency token used within the ecosystems and follows the ERC-20 standard. Engine is a platform for many gamers. One game, for example, that advertises on the main page is known as Nine Lives Arena. The fifth metaverse is Blocktopia. Blocktopia is a metaverse that's built on the Polygon blockchain. Its main focus is on giving the world a platform that encourages the idea of mass adoption in regards to cryptocurrencies. It is a virtual reality skyscraper that is made up of 21 floors that can commemorate the 21 million Bitcoin, and it fills the role of a central hub. Blocktopia aims to create a new mechanism for the generation of content and enables an income for all the users to make the virtual world their main priority. Each space on Blocktopia is a real estate asset or an ad placement that can freely be traded across the users of the platform, which means that they can earn passive profits within the metaverse. Each person within this world is allowed to earn the block tokens in various activities. The block token was launched in October of 2021 and is an ERC-20 token that works on the Polygon network. Now, while these are some of the top metaverse projects around, at least in terms of usage and transaction volume, it's important to mention that the user experience is somewhat archaic and rudimentary, graphics that look like AAA games from back in the early 90s. With that being said, the industry had to start somewhere and we're still in its infancy. Aside from those existing metaverse projects, there are some new metaverses in early development that are looking to make inroads in a new generation of metaverse technology, graphics, and usability. The first one is Everdome. Everdome is a metaverse project that launched on the BNB chain in January of 2022, alongside its native cryptocurrency token, Dome. This is a project that is also a part of the MetaHero ecosystem. It features realistic avatars, as well as real-world scanned objects, which can engage in the metaverse, which will be the destination where users can interact with one another. This project aims at incentivizing the global adoption of the metaverse in the realms of social interaction, gaming, as well as business. The next project is Star Atlas. Star Atlas is a virtual world that features a space theme, which is built on top of the Solana blockchain network. It is a massive multiplayer metaverse that aims to create cinematic quality video games as well as visual experiences. Players within the metaverse can trade, get and create NFTs throughout its universe and be part of an economy that is reflection of the tangibility, ownership and value of real world assets. And now to ApeCoin. ApeCoin is a cryptocurrency specifically developed as a means of powering all and any current and future projects created by Yuga Labs, the creators of the Board Ape Yacht Club. Ape is an ERC-20 token built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Yuga Labs launched Other Side, which is a gamified metaverse where users can turn NFTs into playable characters. The NFTs are known as Other Deeds, and there was an initial mint of 55,000 NFTs. Other Side is a 3D metaverse that offers a game format for holders of these NFTs and is powered by the Ape Coin. And of course, we could not forget about Meta. Facebook has rebranded to Meta as a means of pushing the company's image that its primary focus is turned to the development of the metaverse. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Meta, explained that the metaverse isn't just virtual reality, and has described it as a persistent, synchronous environment where everyone can be together and have virtual experiences. Meta's Metaverse is a tightly interconnected set of digital spaces, which let users escape into a virtual world that is only limited by the underlying technology. This means that it will likely enable users to create just about anything they can imagine, assuming that it can be realized in 3D through the usage of their current technology. And finally, we have Wilder World. Wilder World is a metaverse that describes itself as an immersive 5D metaverse built on Ethereum and the Unreal Engine 5 and Zero. Its photorealistic artworks are designed by a collective of digital artists and aim to be the most visually stunning metaverse experience. However, it is also a project that is governed by its native cryptocurrency token known as the Wild Token, which serves as a governance utility and powers the platform's NFT marketplace. Now to my final take. There are literally dozens of metaverse projects currently either live or in development, as more publishers and companies than ever before are attempting to revolutionize the way we perceive and interact with the virtual world. Each of these projects that we went over today have a huge potential to withstand the test of time and be relevant for years to come. However, each one of these projects also aims to do things a bit differently to the point where we cannot really pick a favorite. The metaverse has the potential to truly revolutionize the way we live our daily lives and the way in which we conduct our work 
and could be a gateway to the future we could never thought would be possible. Walmart being a virtual grocery store, walking through the Louvre virtually looking at priceless works of art. There are limitless possibilities of how we can use the metaverse. Now, while there's clearly no winner in regards of which project has the best future, each one is ambitious in its own way, and time will tell which metaverse becomes the most popular and the most utilized. So what about you? Have you invested into any of these metaverse projects? And if so, which ones? Make sure to comment below and let me know. If you ended up enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more breakdowns on other crypto projects, including updates on everything that's happening in the industry.